What is going on guys? It is Kev's 2013 and this video and background everything probably looks a lot different and you're gonna be right if you think it is because I'm at my grandparents house so the everything's different. I got a new desk, new format, new everything for now until I get back to my house then everything will be back to normal. But that's not the point in this video. The point in this video today let you know what my WWDC 2013 predictions are. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Alright, now WWDC is June 10th through the 14th. And, uh, and, and if you didn't know what WWDC meant, it is Worldwide Developers Conference, which is Apple's little conference that they held, they, they hold every year. Um, last year, WWDC was all about iOS 6, which is the current operating system for iPhones and iPods. They also uh, talked about Macs and stuff like that, how well they are doing, um, just different stuff like that. This year, what I think we're going to see is an iOS 7 preview. iOS 7 has to be, I've made a video before, a couple, about a month or two before now, that showed off what iOS 7 needs to have. Um, iOS 6 is just boring now. Um, and it has been for a while, all the different iOS is because they're all the same. We need a big change. And what we're thinking we're going to see is a new flatter design. It's going to look a lot different. A new person is doing the iOS 7 design. So it's going to be interesting to see how well he can do it. He can prove it off, pull it off. But an iOS 7 preview is most likely going to happen during WWDC. Uh, a, uh, OS X 10.9 will have a preview there. That's for the Macs. And we will hear about iRadio. I think I mentioned that in my iOS 7 um, uh, video too, so go check that out. And iLife 13 and iWork 13 for the Macs. Uh, also, we might hear about an Apple TV and a new 2013 Mac Pro. Also, a new Retina iMac and Retina MacBook Air. Um, interesting to see what that's going to look like. Um, they just came out with the new iMac not too long ago, so we're getting another iMac. Um, it's about time that we get some newer and high resolution iMacs, or not iMacs, MacBooks and MacBook Pros, sorry. Um, but that's what I think we're gonna see. Mainly they're gonna focus on iOS 7. Uh, sometimes they'll throw out that just one more thing and they'll give us a sneak peek of something that they're gonna come out with or something, so we'll have to see what that is. Uh, I don't think the iPhone 5S or iPhone 6, whatever they're going to call it, probably the 5S, it probably won't be that big of an upgrade, just like the 4S to the, or 4 to the 4S. But they think, uh, I think that they will wait until uh, its own event and have its own event for iPhones and maybe iPads, maybe they'll put them together. Usually they announce that in September or July. They'll announce it in July and uh, release it to where you can buy it and pre-order it um, throughout September. That's what I think, um, but they could surprise us. They could throw it out now because everybody's getting excited for it. I'm excited for a new iPhone. I'm excited for iOS 7 like crazy. I want a new, um, new design. Uh, I just need, we need some changes. We need uh, something. Um, and I've seen a lot of fan-made videos of what iOS 7 concept is going to look like. And a lot of them look realistic, some of them don't. And then along with the iPhone 5S or iPhone 6, the fan-made ones. Y'all, fans make some good videos, but let's make them realistic. Like having a projector to make an iMac on your wall, that's not going to happen, people. I'm sorry. Maybe years from now that could happen, but I don't think any time right now. Um, but that's what I think about this WWDC. 
Again, WWDC is on June 10th through the 14th in San Francisco. It's Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. And we'll have to see what comes up. And after the event on that week, the, the 10th through the 14th, after that, when they release stuff, I will make more videos to recap what they announced so everybody knows what they talked about and what they're going to be releasing and stuff like that. So if you're excited for WWDC like I am, leave a thumbs up down below, leave some comments on what you think we're going to see at WWDC, and guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.